So guys, I attended last week. Last week ba ako nagatin ng lactation class? O last two weeks ago? I feel like last week lang yun. So nagatin ako ng lactation class, guys. I learned a lot. So what I learned, that lact breastfeeding not supposed to hurt. So, you know, if anybody didn't tell you that, I attended the lactation class, guys. It's free anyways. It's free when you attend your um, health department. They will give you a free class about lactation class, breastfeeding class, and then safe, safe, safe baby sleeping. They, they, they will give you a free class on your ano, county um, health department. So whenever you're pregnant and then if you're not aware, your health department give you a free classes. Okay, guys? I know it's free for breastfeeding, lactation, and safe sleep. So they said when I attended that class, not a lot of... um mother know that it's a free class so nobody tells that told them na lactation or breastfeeding supposed to be not painful so if it's painful thou it means you're doing something wrong see i learned because when i was in the philippines they always say this is what they always say Pag sinasabi ng mga parents, Ang oh, sakit! It hurts! You know what the old people will say? Or, or the elderly? <laughs> I don't want to say old people. <laughs> Maybe the, a lot of people gonna be offended. So, they said, Oh, that's, that's fine. That's normal. Because you still need to develop callus. Callus though. Callus around your nipple on your nipple if you develop that and then it will not be painful anymore well that's a myth kasi hindi daw dapat masakit ang pagpapadede ng baby it does it's not supposed to be painful or it's not supposed to hurt if you feel faint have faint if you feel, if you feel hold on if you if you feel faint my gosh baliktad yung piko if you feel pain it means you're doing something wrong so this is what they said this is what they told in the class the baby is supposed to be like it's the baby is like eating burger so how you eat the burger is that how supposed to be the baby to be breastfed it's supposed to be the chin up and then mm, swallow your breast i'm telling them about the class the lactation class the breastfeeding class i'm teaching them that it's not supposed to be painful so that's that's the class and then the way i fed my baby before oh my gosh class <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, guys, I was shocked because I was feeding my baby. It's like, in the Philippines, I, this is the bottle, right, for the baby. A big bottle of baby until here. It's like um 12 ounces or 24 ounces. I forgot how much I fed, but it's it's a lot. It wasn't supposed to be like that. If They said if the baby is already eating, if the baby is already eating food, then you're not supposed to give them a lot of milk. Oh, I was shocked because I was feeding my baby milk after they ate. I was still gonna feed them milk, and it's not, it's not little milk, a lot of milk, like a big, like this. I don't know if you know any mother that feed their baby like me. Oh my gosh, I even buy a big big cup for them to eat i was shocked that it, it was it's supposed not to feed your baby like that amount of milk if they're already eating 
See? I, I learned a lot. I was shocked with that. I wasn't expecting that I was feeding my baby too much. And then I was shocked that my babies are overweight. Because <laughs> you're not supposed to feed them that much. Babies are not supposed to be fed much kapag kumakain na daw sila ng mga food. Solid food, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And then I learned now the ingredients inside the milk is the, is the same ingredients they they put in um Mountain Dew. Gosh, can you believe that? Imagine. So, cause this is my first time gonna be breastfeeding, you know, I'll be breastfeed I need to experience breastfeeding before I retired having a baby. So, I'm going breastfeed ako, guys. And then I will see what's gonna happen. Because they said they give you um lactation class here in the hospital as well. But might as well get your health department um free lactation class. Because at least you have some knowledge already when you when you go to the hospital and then if a lactation practitioner whatever is there at least you have some knowledge already or if ever you know what to do or know already then go for it breastfeed your baby but i don't have any knowledge yet so i attended the class and i learned a lot so might as well if you your first time mother or first time to breastfeed your baby might as well attend that class you gotta learn a lot tabi ko nga natutunan ni grabe grabe yung papakain ko pala sa baby is not is not right i did a lot of well i have a i have a grown people not telling me the right thing <laughs> So I was really shocked, very, very shocked, guys, that this, I'm doing a lot of wrong thing. And then if you're a first time mom and then you don't know, and then you're giving them a, a formula, you're giving the same, the same ingredients as you're giving, as your mountain you have, if you know what, if you get what I mean. If you're drinking Mountain Dew, whatever is in that Mountain Dew is in the formula of baby, baby formula. So, you gotta learn, you gotta learn. You have to learn that, okay? I'm just telling you some insight that I learned. So if you're planning to breastfeed, breastfeed, or it's not supposed to hurt, guys, and it's a free class on your health department. Okay, so might as well take that opportunity. It's free. So I attended that class. And dami palang pa perks pag buntis ka di sa America. And daming pa perks. Ang daming libre. Sinabi sa akin, they told me that, oh, you're gonna get a manual, manual breast pump in the hospital. They said, you better make sure you grab that. So, nirimove ko na yan siya sa, sa cart ko, yung manual breast pump. Kasi free daw yan sa hospital. So, I removed that. So, tapos, pag nag-attend ako ng safe, safe, sleeping class for 15 minutes they gotta give you a free crib play pen a free one so ni remove ko na rin yung cribs <laughs> sa amazon cart ko kasi but pa ako bibili ko may free hindi ko naman gagamitin yung yung crib lagi gagamitin ko lang yan pag ano tawag nito pag matutulog na siya or andito ako sa sala nagluluto syempre sa crib siya so, tinanggal ko na yon. May crib na akong libre. 
My breast pump now on Libre. And then they're gonna give you free pump. Your insurance will give you free breast pump. Mm. So my free breast pump ako. And then, sa class guys, so if you're having a hard time when it comes to like budgets on your on your pregnancy, if you qualified, they will give you this you uh, know WIC WIC budget. It's W I C. It's women. Mm, I forgot the meaning of that. <laughs> I forgot the meaning, guys. But yeah, W I C benefits. So. If you're pregnant and then if you qualified for for that, you will get like a budget for your food. For preg it's not really a good at all. But you're gonna get free free um what do you call this? Free fruits, free cereal, free milk. So if you're qualified, so the ang daming pa perks niya, di ba? Oh, grab na. Why not? So, kung nahihirapan kayo, that will help you. Kasi bibigyan nila kayo ng budget for food. So, might as well grab it. Marami siya mga pa-perks. Tapos meron, binibigay, bibigyan. They will also give you like, um, a budget of $25 for... $25 for OTC over the counter so you can order uh, whatever you um you wish like diapers nursing this nursing pads you can order um nipple cream you can order everything that is over the counter that they covered like even sunscreen they're gonna cover you that as long as it's just $25 wipes so Grab it. I grab it. Green up in twenty in twenty five dollars. No order gonna guys. Pa isa isa. I order now now. I know. No better wipes. I order ako ng size one diaper. Mula ano sila out of stock. But if you wanna order, isi send nila yan. Isi send nila kasi lib libre yan twenty five dollars over the counter. So, kung ano yung ano nyo, i-grab nyo na while you can. Yan ang sabi sa akin ng insurance ko, sabi niya. You have to take advantage of what are there already. It's all free. If you don't know that, grab it. Siyempre ako, hindi ko naman alam na free. Kaya hindi ko yun, hindi ko yun, ano, free. Free pala. Yung insurance ko, siya na yung nag-contact sa akin. Kasi parang naramdaman niya. Parang, parang wala itong planong i-avail itong mga free. Kinuntak niya ako. Tinawagan niya. So sabi na, you know that you have this and that and that. And you can attend classes like this, like that. Sabi ko, I didn't know. Sabi ko, kasi this is, this is my first time getting pregnant here in America. This is gonna be my first baby I'm gonna deliver here in America. I don't know anything. So I mean, you're gonna get a free pump. So you just have to get your doctor's referral. Then you're gonna get a free pump. Breast pump. Pagdating ko ron, dami pa palang free. Diba? Tapos meron sila dito, ano guys, community nung nagatan ako ng class. Yung mga moms, they give away their, ano, yung used, ano, ng mga baby nila na napagliitan ng, ng mga damit, binibigay nila. Nasasaya na lang kung igagrab mo kung ano yung mga kailangan mo. Ibibigay nila for free kasi hindi na nila kailangan kasi itapon. So, they have this community na ganyan. Yung, ibibigay nila yung mga pinaglumaan na, hindi naman talaga pinaglumaan kasi yung baby one month, lalaki na. So, anong gagawin mo doon? Anong naman itapon mo? So, ang ginagawa nila, pinadala nila doon, tapos, yung mga mother, pwede pumunta doon, then, they just gonna pick it up. Anong nila, kung mga kailangan nila, mga damit, zero to three months, mga may. So, 
ang dami, ang dami pa perks pag buntis ka dito sa Amerika. Daming pa perks. So, if you're reserving money for your delivery, wala ka ng problema about sa mga diaper, diaper. Ano daw eh. So, marami namang pa perks. So, huwag ka magalala. Kaya natin to. Nahihirapan lang ako sa pagbitbit ng baby ko. But yeah, I just wanna let you know guys that those are the benefits that you're gonna get when you're pregnant. Free lactation class, breastfeeding class, baby safe sleeping class, free crib, free breast pump. If you're qualified, you can be in WIC, WIC, they call it WIC. So they're gonna give you um they're gonna give you some budget a nutritionist budget whatever package is that they're gonna give you that and then OTC benefits yeah yeah yung mga pa perks ng mga buntis dito sa America so, tapos pag nasa hospital na raw kayo kung hindi niyo daw alam may there's a free, if you don't know, of, if you're not aware, there's gonna be a free manual breast pump. So, sabi niya, they told me na dapat kunin niyo yung kasi it's part of your bill. So, might as well take that kasi naman i-charge sa inyo, then you, you didn't get it. So, okay? Iniintay ko yung sabi na may free car seat. Walang free car seat, guys. Walang free car seat. It's just free crib. No free car seat. So don't expect too much. So you know, guys, I just want to let you know, okay? Okay, okay, because this is also my first time, so now I know. I don't know if I delivered a baby. There's a lot of perks, so I'll let you know when we get there. But for now, that's the only perks I know. Okay, see you guys. If you enjoyed this video, kind of like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share, share, share. Thank you.